Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Six. Its title is Teamwork. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today we are under the title of Read and Think. We are going to learn reading advertisement and captions. Before this, in English for Grade Two, you have learned reading different material. In, even in Grade Three, we are learning. So, what we have learned so far, wherever you find words to read, you should start reading it. Okay. So, I hope you remember this concept. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to read familiar words appearing on a variety of reading material, such as advertisement, recipes we have already done, and captions. So our focus today is advertisement and caption. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Al Baqarah verse eighty two. But they who believe and do righteous deeds, those are the companions of paradise. They will abide therein forever. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. Beta Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is giving us the key points to reach to Jannah. What is the first one? To believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and to follow all the commands of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and do righteous deeds do good deeds so inshallah you will be among the people of paradise so beta we should try to follow these commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now you tell me you see beta just within a brief sentence allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught us how to reach to jannah so this is some like we should learn this skill in short sentences even sometime by using just one word how to convey the message right this is what caption means so first you tell me what do you know about advertisements and caption pause the video answer this question to your teacher and then come back yes my dear students i hope you have answered now let's see advertisement is a public message some a message which we want many of the people know that is called advertisement the advertisements are in newspaper magazines television radio and if there are many ways of advertisement and what is caption so for example this is advertisement weekend super sale that's it so this is the title this is weekend means on weekend there is going to be super sale of 50 percent limited time special price shop now that's it so the purpose is shop now this is how briefly by using few words we should know how to convey the message and this is called advertisement because we want many people to come to this sale right this is how we design advertisements now look at this its caption is potato chips, right? And to make it lit, like more attractive, spicy, and etc. Right? This is how caption is given, which tell us what this advertisement is about, and the details are given to make it a complete advertisement. Are you getting it? Okay. So a caption is a title. Basically, it's the title given to that. A brief explanation or comment accompanying an illustration right so there is a picture and a title that is called a caption a heading title or headline etc so all are the names for caption a title heading headline etc right so here is you see what is the caption hijab collection that's it right and are you clear with the concept? So let's practice it through an activity. 
Teacher will show to the students some advertisements in magazine or newspaper and ask students to notice catchy phrases written on the advertisement. Okay, teacher, you may bring a magazine in the class, a newspaper, or I would suggest you, if it is possible for you, take students to library and show them different material which has different type of captions. So, pause the video, enjoy this activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with this activity? You enjoyed it? Good job. So, it is time for your practice. Here, open your book on page number 47. Question 16, 15. Read the following advertisement and discuss with your class members. So, teacher, you may uh, divide your class in groups, make the students to find out what is written, what, what do they find about this advertisement. Pause the video, complete this task and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done reading with these advertisements as well? Good job. Now, it is time for question 16. What we are supposed to do? You will write captions for these pictures. So, as I told you, it is illustration in picture and word. Now, you will look at the picture and select the right caption. Beta, the caption should match with the illustration, right? So, look at the picture carefully. Which one is a better caption out of these two? Write it over here and the other over for this picture right here. Show this work to your teacher. If you find any difficulty, raise your hand, talk to your teacher and write the correct caption. So, pause the video, complete this task in your book and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now, it is time for your homework. You will read different advertisements and notice how the advertisements are written and you may also paste an advertisement in your notebook and here is a worksheet. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan and PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. So, what we have learnt today? We learnt to read familiar words on a variety of reading material such as advertisement and captions. So, we achieved our SLO to read familiar words appearing on a variety of reading materials such as advertisement, recipes we have already done, captions, etc. Right? And we also learned wherever we find reading material, we should try to read it. So, that is it for today. Tomorrow, I will come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.